This is a Filipino uh, folk tale. <coughs> Often in folk tales, the poor girl, Snow White, Cinderella, marries a prince. And in this case, the roles are reversed. Juan, Spanish name, uh, Juan uh, was a relatively poor boy and he loved to gamble. And usually he lost, uh, but he was a cheerful guy. So one day he lost his final coins, his final belongings, and he decided to leave the town where he had spent most of his life and find his fortune, as the uh, expression goes. So he went walking down the road, cheerfully. Uh, he saw something gleaming. He went over and picked it up. It was a centavo, a little coin, and he felt his luck change already. <coughs> With the centavo, he bought a cake. He didn't eat all of the cake, though. He ate portion, a portion of the cake, and he put the rest of the cake in his pocket. Then he sat down to sleep. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. He woke up because he felt a chicken pecking at his cake, which was sticking out of his pocket. He grabbed the chicken. The owner of the chicken said, Hey, let that chicken go. That's my chicken. I'm sorry, the chicken ate my cake. My cake is inside the chicken, therefore the chicken is mine. The owner of the chicken didn't know what to say, and so one had a, cake, had a chicken now, and still part of his cake. Uh, he went walking down the road again. This time um, he lay down to sleep again, uh, and a dog came and attacked and ate his chicken. He woke up, he grabbed the dog, the owner of the dog, near a, this was a barber shop dog, the owner of the dog said, hey, what are you doing? That's my dog. Your dog ate my chicken, my chicken is inside your dog, therefore the dog is mine. The man didn't know what to say to this, and so now one had a dog. He went walking along again, this time he tied the dog to a iron gate uh, that surrounded a house uh, and slept again. And this time the iron gate, or part of the iron gate, fell on the dog, killed the dog, and so he took part of the iron gate, iron worth a lot more than dogs, apparently, uh, an iron like staff, uh, and the owner of the house said, Hey, what are you doing? Well, your iron staff killed my dog, therefore that staff is mine. Uh, the owner couldn't say anything, so <laughs> the staff was one's. Now he had a plan. He went to a river. He threw this iron staff into the air repeatedly, and sooner or later the staff fell into the river. Now a princess came along to bathe at least her feet in the river. As soon as she touched as soon as her feet touched the river, she he one said to the princess, uh, Princess, this river is mine because it took my staff blah 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 blah. Uh, therefore I think you are mine too. Uh, the princess didn't know what to say. And so she said, Well I think we must I don't know what to say, but uh, my father, the king, will know what to say. So come and tell the king your story. So one told the king his long story, from the centavo, to the chicken, to the dog, to the iron post, let's say, to the river, to the princess. The king was so impressed by one's logic and uh, vigorous thinking that he approved of Juan's marrying the princess, and the princess apparently liked it too. So Juan, the poor boy, married the princess and lived happily ever after. <laughs>